Hi everybody and welcome to another episode with the Anxious Resistance. Today I'm going to be talking about Davigo. Davigo is the brand name for the drug Lamborexin, which is an erection receptor antagonist used to treat insomnia. Lamborexin belongs to a new class of medications called dual erection receptor antagonists, or DORAs. Not the explorer kind, the medication kind. Unlike other common sleep medications like Zolpidem, otherwise known by its brand name of Ambien, Esopiclone, otherwise known as its brand name Lunesta, or Xelophon Sonata, which are GABA modulators, okay? So this is different. Lamborexin works by blocking the activity of orexin, a neurotransmitter that promotes wakefulness. By inhibiting orexin receptors, Davigo helps decrease wake drive and facilitate sleep onset and maintenance. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the history and background of Davigo. Davigo is a new insomnia medication that was approved by the FDA in December 2019. It is manufactured by Isai Inc., a Japanese pharmaceutical company that partnered with Purdue Pharma to develop the drug. Clinical trials for Davigo began in 2014. Phase one clinical trials looked at safety and, and dosage while phase two and phase three focused on efficacy, so whether it works or not, for sleep onset and sleep maintenance. In 2017, Asai announced positive top line results from a phase three study showing Davigo helped insomnia patients fall asleep faster and stay asleep longer compared to placebo. After successful late stage clinical trials, Isai submitted a new drug application for Davigo to the FDA in April 2019. In October 2019, the FDA approved Davigo for the treatment of adult patients with insomnia, characterized by difficulties with sleep onset or sleep maintenance. This made it the first FDA approved dual orexin receptor antagonist for insomnia. Davigo entered the U.S. market in April 2020, providing a new non-controlled substance option for adults struggling with sleep onset and sleep maintenance insomnia. Its approval added an important new class of medication for insomnia alongside more established options like benzodiazepines and Z drugs, which are those like Ambien and <clears throat> Lunesta. So how exactly does Davigo work? Davigo is an orexin receptor antagonist which means it blocks the action of orexin in the brain. Orexin, also known as hypocretin, is a neurotransmitter that helps regulate wakefulness and sleep. When orexin levels are high in the brain, it promotes wakefulness. Davigo works by selectively binding to the orexin receptors, which blocks the stimulation and allows sleep to occur more easily. Specifically, Davigo binds to OX1R and OX2R, so orexin 1 and orexin 2, receptors in the brain. This inhibits the downstream signaling which keeps you awake. By blocking these receptors, Davigo reduces the weight promoting effects of orexin in the brain and induces sleep. Studies show that Davigo helps improve sleep, onset, and sleep maintenance, so keeping you asleep by dampening overactive orexin signaling. It reduces the time it takes to fall asleep and increases the amount of time spent on restorative and REM sleep. Overall, Davigo induces sleep by suppressing the arousal system in the brain through antagonism of orexin receptors. This novel mechanism of action is different from other common sleep medications. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the evidence for Davigo. Davigo was approved by the FDA in 2019 for the treatment of insomnia, as mentioned before, based on results from clinical trials. The efficacy of Davigo was primarily studied in three randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled studies involving over 2,000 adults with insomnia. So these are high-quality, high-level studies. In these studies, participants taking Davigo fell asleep significantly faster and stayed asleep longer compared to those taking a placebo. For example, in one study, the median time to fall asleep was reduced from 27.8 minutes 
for placebo to 17.8 minutes for De Vigo 10 milligrams. The clinical trials also looked at sleep maintenance, which is the ability to stay asleep throughout the night without waking up. On average, De Vigo significantly increased the time spent asleep versus placebo. In one 12-month study, De Vigo helped participants sleep over 40 minutes longer compared to placebo. Across all studies, De Vigo demonstrated consistent benefits for sleep onset and sleep maintenance at doses of 5 to 30 milligrams. The most common adverse effects were headache and somnolence, which is somnolence means tiredness, which you would expect from your sleep medication. Overall, the clinical trial data indicates De Vigo is an effective treatment option for insomnia. So what are the benefits of De Vigo versus other sleep medications? De Vigo is a relatively new sleep medication that was approved by the FDA in 2020. It offers some potential advantages compared to other common prescription sleep aids such as Ambien, Lunesta, and Belsomra. One of the main differences is that De Vigo is classified as an orexin receptor antagonist. It works by blocking orexin receptors in the brain, which helps regulate sleep-wake cycles. Other medications like Ambien work as GABA receptor agonists, so it's a totally different mechanism of action, meaning that if you've had difficulty with Ambien or other drugs like Lunesta that work on those GABA receptors, Davigo is a potentially very viable option for you. In studies, Davigo has been shown to help people fall asleep more quickly and stay asleep throughout the night. It may cause less next morning drowsiness than some other options. Davigo stays active in the body for a shorter period of time compared to Ambien or Lunesta, which helps limit the lingering drowsiness and reduces the risk of overnight falls and has a lower potential for dependence or abuse. However, more research is still needed to directly compare De Vigo to other established sleep medications. The long-term efficacy and side effects of De Vigo also require further study. Talk to your doctor about whether De Vigo or another sleep aid is more appropriate for your specific sleep issues and medical history. Cost and insurance coverage may also factor into the decision. Overall, De Vigo provides a newer alternative to consider for trouble sleeping, but other medications may still be a better option for some patients. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the side effects. Like all medications, De Vigo may cause side effects in some people. Most side effects are mild and temporary, but some can be more serious. Some of the common side effects of De Vigo include headache, sleepiness, musculoskeletal pain, cold symptoms, and cough. These mild side effects tend to improve with continued use of the medication. Taking De Vigo with food can help reduce some side effects like sleepiness. Let's talk about some of the serious side effects. More concerning side effects are possible with De Vigo, although they are much less common. These include sleep paralysis, which is the inability to move while waking up, worsening depression and suicidal thoughts, complex sleep behaviors like sleepwalking, sleep eating, or driving while asleep. Patients taking De Vigo should be monitored closely for behavioral changes, including these side effects. Now, are there any long-term effects? The long-term effects of De Vigo are not yet fully known since it is a newer drug approved by the FDA in 2019. However, the long-term impacts of consistently altering sleep-wake cycles is not fully established. Patients taking De Vigo for extended time should have their periodic check-ins with their doctor. So we've mentioned a lot of the positives of De Vigo compared to other medications, particularly that it has this different mechanism of action, helps you fall asleep more, more quickly and helps you stay asleep. De Vigo improves sleep quality, not just sleep quantity or the amount of sleep onset. De Vigo lasts through the night and maintains its sleep promoting effects for a full eight hours of sleep, preventing middle of the night awakenings. De Vigo causes less drowsiness the next day. 
because of that shorter half-life, it's out of your system sooner than some medications like Ambien and Lunesta that we have mentioned before. Davigo has a lower risk of dependence than these current um, <clears throat> well-established sleep medications like Ambien and Lunesta. Um, Davigo has minimal drug interactions because of its unique uh, mechanism of action on orexin. Overall, Davigo provides faster sleep onset, better sleep quality, reduced next day drowsiness, and a lower risk of dependence compared to popular alternatives like Ambien and Lunesta. These advantages make it a preferred option for many insomnia patients. Now, what are the disadvantages? Compared to other commonly prescribed sleep medications like Ambien, Lunesta, and Sonata, Davigo has some notable drawbacks. It may cause some unpleasant side effects. As we mentioned before, it may be prescribed for adults 18 and older. Many other sleep meds are approved for as young as 12 to 16 year olds. So this means that Davigo, especially since it's new, is only used in adults 18 and older. It requires proper timing. Davigo must be taken within 30 minutes before going to bed. This can be inconvenient compared to other meds that can be taken one to two hours before bedtime. However, it can make for some convenient timing when you are going to bed. So you just take it before you go to sleep and you don't have to worry about it. Um, one to two hours before bedtime can be a bit of a struggle because you might not be ready to go to bed yet. You may still be doing things. Um, there's less long-term safety data compared to older, more established medications. That's true because it is new and it, is, uh, it doesn't have that post-marketing research being done as thoroughly yet because it hasn't been around as long. It is still a controlled substance. It is a controlled level four which means it does have some potential for abuse and dependence. Davigo can potentially impair one's ability to drive and operate machinery the next morning, similar to other hypnotics like Ambien and Lunesta. Tolerance may develop after several weeks or months of continued use, requiring dosage adjustments or switching medications. This is also very common with other insomnia medications. Overall, while Davigo is a novel medication, it does appear to offer significant advantages over cheaper, older medications with longer track records of safety and effectiveness for insomnia. So overall, in summary, Davigo, otherwise known as Lamborexin, is a promising new medication for treating insomnia. It works by blocking these orexin receptors in the brain, helping patients fall asleep faster and stay asleep longer. Clinical trials have shown Davigo to be effective at improving sleep onset, sleep maintenance, and total sleep time compared to placebo. The main advantages of Davigo are that it helps patients fall asleep quickly, allowing them to stay asleep through the night and leaves them feeling refreshed upon waking up. It does not seem to impair next morning cognitive functioning or cause daytime drowsiness. The most common side effects are headache, somnolence, fatigue, and dizziness. Overall, Davigo appears to be a beneficial treatment option for adults struggling with insomnia, especially those who have difficulty falling or staying asleep. While long-term safety data is still limited, the initial research is encouraging. For patients frustrated with current sleep medications, Davigo offers a fast-acting alternative without as many concerns over dependency and impairment. More research is still needed, but Davigo has the potential to significantly improve sleep quality and life for insomnia patients. Thank you so much for watching this episode with The Anxious Resistance. If you enjoyed it, please like it, subscribe to our channel for more insomnia treatments and other information about mental health, such as anxiety, depression, and the treatments about those conditions as well. We thank you so much for your support. We hope you'll keep watching. Have a good one.